Hello everyone, Enix20 here. No video like I said, but it doesn't matter. We're here. It's gonna start. It's uh, 11.55 right now, I believe. 11.56. Oh boy. I just want to say one thing. I can feel the excitement. Like, I am just... I'm gonna explode. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. Alright then. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Yay. Yes. Bring it on. Okay, that's a really cool start actually, wow. That looks awesome. Oh man, I don't know what this is, but giant robots are awesome. And their art style is cool too. Ooh. I want to see quite a few things actually. I'm just in awe of how awesome this looks. I'm a sucker for like things stylized in this way. It's just really cool effects that I like. Like visually, wow. Well, that was sudden. I don't know who the oh. I don't know who those people are, but... I saw Yusuke Kozaki's name. Hmm. Shinriki, 3,507年。第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは、第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは、第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは、第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは、第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは、第107代アーケディア法王
or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a smashing invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Yes. Or on a journey through verdant fields and Viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all? Oh, they're going to talk about Let's Go? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, but a few weeks ago, Whoa. we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's not Pokemon been weeks. Let's Go Eevee. Has it been weeks? A brand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This is a Pokeball Plus. Okay, that Xenoblade you thing still like blew my mind. I know that Pokemon I'm Let's Go Pikachu that kind of person. Let's I love Eevee. Xenoblade. It or play so the good. entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. It sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Hi, Mew. Mew comes exclusive Aww. with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. So cute. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Which is? Okay, are you ready for this? <sighs> All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> okay, what are you guys All doing? Right. Oh, of course. Yes! <laughs> The Super Mario Party. Oh, awesome. Hey, Ray, I did not up? think about a Mario Party game at all. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> gotta change it up, though. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. Assuming it's a... Uh... We need to have, like, some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Okay. Oh. Really? How oh. oh. the... <laughs> Whoa. Let's do another one. I have no idea how this technology behind that works. If they can... All right, ready? If, yeah. if this is like the older Mario Party, this is going to be really cool. Oh, wow. One more. It really looks cool, though. We should do one more. Like, the, the games look like fun. Okay, yeah, I'm so on board for this. That looks like that looks like a good. Oh, that's a low blow. Three, two, one. Can you play as a Goomba? That's the best thing ever. How did he even do that with no arms? I guess you don't need him. That's cool. That I actually really like that. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life. I think, is this, of every soul. is this Fire Emblem? Or is it something new? Yep. Like, I recognize it. That looks like the Echo's art style. Give me orders. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. That looks really cool. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Wow, that looks cool. Now and that actually has exploration too. Do you 
dare to walk this path with me? One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! Swords and axes? That's an interesting mix. This looks... This is... I will wow. return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. Spring 2019. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. I'm definitely going to look into that a lot, because... Oh, Fortnite, of course. I forgot about this. This wasn't one of the rumors I was talking about, because it, like... It seemed pretty solid, like, oh, it's definitely happening. But there it is. I will say right now, like, the whole teacher bit leads me to believe that you've got a avatar character again. That was one of the things I did not want for a new Fire Emblem, so that disappointed me. But hopefully everything else is good. It looks good. Like, but, but, I said the same thing when Faith was first revealed, so. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete Battle Royale experience, whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Oh. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can access a full well, range of go. games content. Fortnite. Including That's cool. a wealth of groundbreaking I mean, games people say it's a good independent game. development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. We're in the war groove. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Indie games? Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers. Oh, a sequel? Uh-oh. In Overcooked 2. A sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white-knuckle mayhem. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler arrives on That's August really 7th. funny. I see people play that game. It looks like nuts. Berries, or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory. This is the kind of thing that would annoy me, but it does look fun. Ground up, and uh, Liquid this? Bit and Bumble Bear Games' acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. Killer Queen Black. And finally, I actually don't know what that venture is. through the mysterious Ooh. subterranean landscapes of a vast I hear about this game a lot, too. In Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight, an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch. And I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. Ah, These are just a few of get the it, people. indie games <laughs> you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live. Of course. Streaming right from the I'm totally going to watch like, floor, a ton of that. Where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their medal in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. The action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler ah, from yes. Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop oh, on demo. June 14th. I actually haven't played the original now, demo, which we still let's have. Take another I should look, look into that. At some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Show me, Reggie. 
I have a wallet, actually, now. Take all the money in it. All of it. Oh yeah, I didn't watch the trailer for this. I was told about it, but I hadn't gotten a chance to see it. Ah, yes. That's really fun. Oh, I thought that sushi game was out already. Shows what I know. Whoa. Of course. Oh yes, Dragon Ball Fighters. Rad. I have friends put so much time into Splatoon. Like, I'm amazed. Man, they got a lot of stuff on the way. I mean, duh, right? Oh yeah, they talked about that at the other uh, conference. Monster Hunter! I know people love that. I suck at it. Oh hey there. I still have no idea what that game is about. New Mega Man? Cool. Once again, I thought that was out, too. I really don't pay enough attention to anything these days. Hello, sir. Hi, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world. And we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. A lot of games, as we just saw. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Oh, boy. Now it's time? Introduction, what do you mean? Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Hello! Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, what? <laughs> Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Uh-huh. Ah, please, I'll take there. a look. Is this gonna be gameplay, or...? Is this...? Oh my gosh. It's the field of battle. <laughs> Oh, he wears the cape now. That's cool. Oh, hey, Samus. What's doing? Krabby! Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Hey, there. Oh, hey. Cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, Falco, get out of here. Oh, whoa. That's a... Between Worlds, I think, look of hers. I could be wrong. That's really interesting. Of course, get Sonic out of the way just like he's any other dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 64 
Hey there, dude. Ah! Oh! Okay, I did not see that coming. They brought back the... Ryu? Oh, hey, that's his... Hi, they... Oh, cool. Oh, Cloud? Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna... Th Please, keep him. I never got to play as him. Yes! Snake! Snake is back! Woo! Yeah! What do you mean by everyone? What? What? Pichu? Are you kidding me? Like, what? Oh my gosh, my head hurts. <laughs> I did not believe this for- Oh my gosh! They really do mean everyone! Ah, oh, my brain hurts. Hey, Shulk Man! What's up? Oh, what? Well, I mean, they did say everyone. But there he is! Oh! <laughs> That's so cool! Oh my gosh! Are you fucking kidding me? I did not... Oh yeah, never forget. Oh, are we still going? Are we done yet? <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Oh my gosh! Everyone is here! That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Holy Indeed, absolutely fuck. every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Uh, Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds Holy will collide. Shit. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters. I love unlocking characters, thank you. Eight player battles are I love it. Return. That was a dream I had, that the roster was just the N64 roster and then expanded from there. I wish I had said that earlier, because now no one believes me. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last I am so blown away. I remember people saying, I want the Mario's Wii roster to continue, but, we did but I'm like, sorry, they're going to cut someone. From his latest adventure, he can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. But I, I was an idiot. They didn't cut no one. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's a new stage. I haven't been paying attention to the... And his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. Okay, that's really Link's cool. Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Oh, hello, you two. I'm Although not the biggest fan while, of theirs, the but... Two -in -one hey. Fighter, the Ice Climbers are back. I know people love them. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Oh, no! <laughs> Ike, yeah! Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance Returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Oh, he looks so red. He used both versions for the first time. Oh, thank you. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Huh. We now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Aww. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? That's so cool. Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Yeah, it makes sense. I was gonna say that the Ancient Era was so quick, I'm like... Falco's Final Smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. 
Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. Ah, but I guess it makes sense. There, the R wings are their thing, you know. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Ah, I see. Charge moves like Samus's charge shot can now power up in midair. Nice. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Bowser, get out of here! Marth's dancing blade is faster and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open. About time. I mean, I've never been like complaining about back it, by but popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. Get it's over been here, 10 bro. Years since his last appearance in the series. Oh, so it's so cool. Finally, make some new dream matches come true. Oh, of course, yes. Shadow Moses Island is back too. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. That is messed up, but so awesome. Aww. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. He's Melee. so cute. Its electric shock still damaged itself too, so be careful. Zelda, that's in I the did... Legend of Zelda: Breath wow. of the Wild. Wow. Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from the Legend of Zelda. A Link I was right. World. I did not see Zelda that coming. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. That was so unexpected. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Probably both. Oh my gosh. Pac-Man just... also got a speed boost this time around. Oh you my gosh. Like <laughs> <Pac -Man, don't laughs> that looks hilarious. Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Nice. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. I like it. I really do. And of course, his hazardous Big Blue stage is making a I love Big Blue. I gotta say, I do like the style of this game. Like, I noticed some visual... Just like before, you can play Something about it that's, like, Fantasy very noticeably different from the Wii U. Fantasy Advent Children costume. I never got to play as him, so I'm excited. His limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters, too. For example... And we also have the oh weapon durability. You can how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. Thought so. And I see the the uh, percentage is now in for villager increments. Made it easier to see what you pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villagers. And they're ready to Bowser's party. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. Oh, and that reminds me of Lost Gal uh, of Galaxy. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. Oh. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, Young Link! Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three Links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? <laughs> oh, wow. He looks After cool. After ten long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves have received a significant upgrade. I don't even know what he looks like in Star Fox Zero, so this is new to me. I like it, though. Kirby is his usual puffy self. Aww. I want to poke him. added a little something to his stone ability. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. I can imagine. Oh, jeez. Shulk! Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado art. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. I like that. It sure is handy to change art on the fly. Whoa. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Nice. Bring her in. 
Oh, he looks so cool. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Oh! And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Ganon. He's got new moves. Me Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. Oh my gosh. There are three types. Brawler, Sword Fighter, I think I've just been saying, oh my gosh, constantly, because, I mean, what else can you say? And you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Man, there, I'm just... Previously, Pitt's I'm so happy. This looks incredible. Players. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. Hey, Zero Suit! In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. Yeah, those final passes are quicker. I didn't really mind them before, damaged, but that's really cool. You'll see a crack in his helmet. Aw, no! The air will kill worry, him! It'll get fixed up right away. Oh. What technology you got there, bro? Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely, and you'll hear differences in the sound of them. That's really cool. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Nice! I like that guy. Bring Warrior's him on. Final Smash, Warrior Man has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. I love the smoke. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Damn. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Little Max, up? Little Max's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Max. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Yeah, not a lot. To, not a lot seems to like give you Ness's control new anymore. Final smash causes oh. Paula and Pooh. Of course. Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. The whole team is here! I think that's all of them. Hey, Lucas! Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. Yes, bring on everybody! All the people! At first glance, We Fit Trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the We Fit developers. Oh! I don't mind it, that's cool. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Pro Man I love and that they're Bates. throwing in so many more characters because it's like, you have all these characters, use them Palutena's and they are. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Ah. <laughs> Nice pose Rob there, Rob. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Oh, wow. I love these little details. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Who? <laughs> Daisy joins a rock oh my gosh. Echo Fighter. Okay. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. All right. All right. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. Oh wow, I like the winning thing. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. Okay, like I know people like Peach uh, and Daisy. Here's a new fighter. Oh yeah, okay, right. I, I panicked there. We haven't talked about Inkling at all yet. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Ah, that's cool. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb. That's what you Black get. Roller, and the final smash, Killer Whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. 
and each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. Oh, and an inkling stage. I mean, a Splatoon stage. By the stage. way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. Ah, wow. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. I love it. Yay! While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. True. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. Ah. Oh. Poor assist trophies. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. A new Nintendo Maybe an every time. Guests will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. Ow, oh, photobomb. You son of a bitch. There's a wide variety. More than 50 of them appear in the game. What the heck? Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. Oh, whoa. Oh, a launch star. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is different. Do not get the fake one. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love there it all. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well. Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy. A list of returning stages. I, I, I think play, I've been yelling. Be I'm sorry. I can't all. stop. Oh. The graphics have been improved as well. Oh, wow, Let's yeah. Let's look at some stages from various games. Oh, cool. I actually really like this stage. Nice to see it back. Spirit Train! Yeah, the bunch of seeing the 3DS stages again is cool too. I like it. I'm sorry I keep saying that. I'm trying to find different ways to express how much I'm in love with this. Because no one could have seen it coming. I know a lot of people once again said that they wanted like the Wii U roster to not be touched and I did not believe for a second that was gonna happen because I'm like that's too many characters and not only was the Wii U version not touched they just brought in everyone else and that's fantastic there's someone for everyone like literally oh wow hey old dude what's up Wow, that stage is small. I like it though. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Hey, look, I remember a lot of people wanted that. Uh, they call it uh, alpha Let's mode, quote unquote. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. Oh my gosh. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. Oh yeah, I remember that. Hasn't that always been in the game? From a fall. Or am I just thinking things wrong? However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Poor Ice also, Climbers, and never stood a chance. By pressing the A and B buttons, just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. Ah. This should help ensure that the action is well-paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. <laughs> we see you, I get him! No victory pose for you. Get him! Get him! We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like what? What could you possibly have? 
Oh, right, the GameCube controller. At least we're not going with that questionable music from the last time they did this. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. Cool. I don't have in many fact, of those. All fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Oh, that's Tap nice. a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player or FB. I love all the new poses up. for the characters. Your FB data from previous titles can be transferred. What are you doing? Stop! Stop! We hope you're as excited Stop. as we are. Our I staff am. will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. It's ridiculous, man. We made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, oh, no. take a look. I have no idea what to expect. I will say, though, that he's right. Oh. You can't really add that many new characters at this point. I mean, are you crazy? Oh, are you serious? Oh, they're they're totally doing it. They are absolutely doing it. We all know what this is. We all know what this is. Oh my fuck. Yeah, she's annoyed. Like, I read that as annoyance, and I don't blame her. Oh, that's messed up. It's the big time! Oh, you son of a bitch! Wow. The internet is losing their collective minds. I'm losing my collective mind. Oh my. I cannot believe it. They're literally doing everything. Oh my... Oh yeah, she's... She's really upset with you now, Ridley. Look what you did! You came into Smash! It is a December title! Okay! Like, that was like... My guess. Like, I never said it once again. I, I felt it'd be end of the year. I know a lot of people were hoping for earlier, Good morning, but... morning, everyone, and Holy welcome to Nintendo fucking Live shit. From the Los Angeles Convention Dudes! Center E3. I'm still trying to comprehend what I just saw. I'd like to say thank you to everyone around I... the world for tuning in to our Nintendo Direct, as well as oh my our fans gosh. in Japan. Oh my Alright, I'm really so sorry, Bill Trennan. I don't want to cut you off because I love you, man. But I'm recording a video. I'm really sorry. Okay, so... Holy fucking shit! Holy shit, I got nothing! I have absolutely jack shit to say. So like, including every single character is like, it's like a thing people would say and then get laughed at. And then Ridley? Like, I mean look, I think I've said before that I really didn't really have anything against Ridley. I just, I just kind of got sick and tired of the, uh, of the please put him in the game constantly thing because people were like so crazy about it and that's really what annoyed me more than anything not Ridley himself but at the same time people were really crazy about it and it's like as far as Metroid reps go I mean I guess you really can't get much better than him right <laughs> holy shit hi Sakurai oh my gosh holy fuck 
I'm really speechless at the fact that we've been working so hard and we're finally able to announce this uh, game. December 7th. So I think I'm just going to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> he should. He deserves the rest. Oh, my. Well, I want to uh, jump into um, some more specific details. I'm going to go talk to my friends and, like, watch Treehouse for the rest of the day because I need to see more Smash. Everybody do the same. All right. Holy fuck. This has been Nintendo. Also, by the way, that's Xenoblade DLC. Can't wait. I already bought the season pass. All right. That's all I got to say. Uh, and also, n uh, actually, one more thing. He said not to expect that many new fighters. Totally understand. The roster is, uh, like, is what, 65 now with Ridley? Or 66 with Daisy, assuming she's her own uh, selectable spot? I can't imagine much more than that either. Holy shit. I don't know if we'll ever be able to pull this off, so I really hope that you'll enjoy this uh, iteration of the game. Oh my gosh. All right then. <laughs> Until next time, everyone. Asta. Me too. Well, so we, Mr. Sakurai, really for one.